I spent one full month studying his religion, atheism. Hello, my name is Yuval Noah Harari, and I am an atheist. He does not believe in God, but I do. So what can I learn from him? For one full month, I read atheist books, I talked to atheist scholars, and I even got on a flight and traveled all the way to an island in the middle of nowhere, here, to study this one bird. Yep, this is the bird that inspired millions of atheists. Just one bird in the Galapagos Islands. This is the bird in the wild right there. Can you see it? It's so beautiful. But first, some background. I am on a six month challenge to study the top six religions, one every month. Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and even atheism. This is what I learned from atheism. First of all, atheism is not a religion, I agree, but it is a movement. More than one billion people are atheists. They do not believe in religion. Many of them believe in science instead. I think that being a good person has nothing to do with God. You can believe, not believe, it doesn't matter. Uh, being a good person is about liberating yourself and others from suffering. The atheist movement exploded in the 1850s when this exact book was published. It's called The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. Darwin was a British scientist who sailed for five years to study the world. One day, his ship arrived right here in the very, very remote islands of Galapagos, Ecuador. Here, Charles Darwin noticed something weird. He noticed that the same bird changed based on the island it lived in. In one island, the bird, this one, had a big mouth and was vegetarian. In another island, the same bird had a small mouth and was not vegetarian. The shape of the bird's mouth changed based on the environment. This shocked Darwin. Why did the bird evolve? And that is when Darwin made his biggest discovery. He discovered that animals are not born perfect. Animals evolve over time. Their wings, color, and size change over generations in order to survive. And if animals evolve, then maybe humans do too. Maybe we were not born perfect like Adam and Eve. Maybe humans evolve from monkeys. A lot of small changes create a very big change. So if people ask, where did humans come from? We didn't come from this one big magical moment that God created people. Over billions of years, a lot of very, very small changes became us. That is how Darwin came up with the theory of evolution. This theory shocked the world. It was against everything religion taught. It was against Christianity. It was against Islam. But Darwin's theory was based on evidence that you can measure and see with your own eyes. It made people believe less in religion and more in science. It made atheism explode. Even though atheism existed way before Darwin. Muslims have the Quran and Christians have the Bible. What is your book? This, the universe. Darwin, for instance, went to the Galapagos and studied a, a bird. So who knows what other mysteries are there if we study this tree or this stone or this butterfly? Science is better at giving answers because it is willing to admit its mistakes. 
People think that if you never make a mistake, that's the best thing. It's the worst thing. Now, religions refuse to admit it. Even when they admit it, they blame it on somebody else. Now, stop for a second. Millions of you are religious and believe in God. I believe in God too. I'm not an atheist. But there has to be something we can learn from atheists even if we disagree with them. What can we learn from them? Well, I think I found the answer. The answer is simple. Curiosity, Curiosity. and courage. courage. Atheists think that you should be curious. In other words, you should think for yourself, question everything, investigate, and seek knowledge. It's easy to believe what others want you to believe. It's hard to say, I don't know what to believe, but I'm going to be curious and find my own answers. Darwin sailed for five years searching for answers. He studied thousands of animals and wrote many books because he was curious. The first thing you can be inspired from atheism is just to be curious. That you ask a big question, you look for answers, and if somebody tells you, you know, you're, this is the answer, and you are not allowed to question this answer, then you go on investigate. Today, because of curious scientists, we can measure the exact speed of light. We can measure the exact distance to the moon. We can sequence the human genome. We can build cars that drive like us. No hands. And AI that can think like us. You can be curious and still believe in God. Even Darwin himself was not fully atheist. But he did not rely on faith, tradition, and authority. He relied on science, evidence, curiosity. Atheism is the most spiritual path there is because it encourages people to ask any question that seems important to them and to follow that question wherever it leads. You don't have to accept anything just because somebody said so. Accept anything somebody said so. Atheists also have courage. Darwin was attacked by many religions, and so was Galileo. In the 16th century, religion believed the sun moved around the earth, but Galileo discovered that earth actually moved around the sun. He was punished for this and sent to jail for the rest of his life. But you know, Galileo had the courage to not change his mind. Eventually, he was right. Now we all know that the Earth moves around the sun thanks to Galileo. It takes courage to follow these big questions. It takes courage because a lot of people will try to intimidate you if you refuse to accept their answer. But at an even deeper level, it takes courage to face the world and say, I'm not sure. Like, where did we come from? What, what, why are we here in the universe? I, I'm not sure. And what happens when we die? I don't know. It takes courage to stand up to what you believe in, even when everyone says you're wrong, even when you're sent to jail. Atheism is not against spirituality. It's against the rigidity of religion. There is nothing wrong in following a particular religion, and atheists don't, don't, don't want to forbid religion. If religion helps you, and following that religion helps you in different ways without harming anybody, that's great. After studying atheism for one month, I got inspired. I got inspired to become more curious about the world. I got inspired to find my own answers. I got inspired to have the courage 
to stand up to what I believe in even if everyone around me disagrees. Just like Darwin, I was inspired by this small bird to seek the truth and nothing but the truth. That's it about atheism. See you next month for a video about Judaism. Ah, what an incredible challenge. I learned so much in such a short time. Everyone should do this. Check out nas.io slash religion if you want to do this with me. Now, I'm ready for the next one.